a woman accidentally lost her crystal shoes. The prince who was passing by picked it up, and the woman had long since disappeared. In order to find the owner of the shoes, the prince invited women all over the country to try them on. Whether it was a grandmother with white hair, even pregnant women were not spared. <laughs> The result is that no one can wear the crystal shoes, and at that time, the real owner of the shoes had already been locked up. A woman named Mary originally had a happy and happy family, but when Mary was seven years old, her mother died of illness. Her father, a businessman, brought Mary up by himself. Soon afterwards, Mary received an unexpected guest. It was her father's new girlfriend, a woman who looks noble, but she has evil intentions. Her two daughters are even more sarcastic. The father had to go away for business. Mary had just sent her father away. The three people behind her revealed themselves. The two daughters took over Mary's big bed. The stepmother even sent Mary to live in the dirty attic. The attic was also home to several rat brothers. Mary was kind by nature. She would often share her food with them. Her father was Mary's only solace. Mary wished her father would come back sooner. Instead, she waited for the news of her father's death. Mary was so sad. She cried alone at the door all night, without her father to rely on. Her stepdaughter became more reckless. Mary was treated like a servant. She ate simple leftovers and leaves. But even so, Mary was still generous enough to share with a few mice. Even because Mary did not make breakfast in advance, was humiliated by three people in turn, money well made ha ha ha. Dirty Ella. <laughs> Cinderella. That's what we'll call you. Oh girls, you're too clever. Mary can't take it anymore. She got on the family white horse and went out into the woods alone. But she came upon a stag, and there was a hunter coming after her. Mary chased the stag away. Then she stopped the man who was coming after her, pleaded with him not to hurt the animal. During the conversation, the man was impressed by Mary's kindness and beauty. And Mary was also attracted by the humorous and handsome man. But what Mary doesn't know is that, the man in front of her is in fact a prince. When he returned home, the prince, all he could think about was the first time he and Mary met. In order to see Mary again, he planned to hold a party, inviting the whole country to attend. The stepmother who learned the news rushed to customize three sets of dresses, but not for Mary. Mary thought there was a chance she would see a man again at the party, so she put on the old dress left by her mother. But the stepmother thought it would be embarrassing to bring Mary, so she directly tore Mary's dress. This made Mary very sad. Then an old lady suddenly appeared behind her. She wanted Mary to give her a glass of milk to drink, even though Mary was in a bad mood, but still smiled and gave her the milk. Mary's kindness touched her completely. The old lady threw out her magic wand. Then she transformed herself. A beautiful fairy just appeared in front of Mary. The next second, a pumpkin carriage made of gold was formed. Then the woman continued to release the magic. After a few jumps by the mouse watching the show, it turned into four white horses, but the ears are a bit big. Now the carriage has. All that's left is the servant and the driver. The lizard on the side said, let me do it. Now all that's missing is a driver. The goose rushed away and said I won't take this job. I can't drive. Can't drive. Can't drive. Can't drive. Such a luxurious carriage. Without a decent dress, how can it work? So the woman once again waved her magic wand. Mary's original pink dress faded away, replaced by a dazzling blue, with Mary's dancing skirt also danced with. At this point, Mary is like a fairy is beautiful and beautiful. After everything is done, Mary was just about to get into the carriage when, the attentive woman noticed Mary's shoes. As the woman waved the magic wand in her hand, a pair of beautiful crystal shoes just appeared. As she was leaving, the woman told Mary, the spell would expire at 12 o'clock at night. She had to be back before then. And so Mary got into the carriage and started to drive to the prince's palace, and by now the party had begun. But the prince never saw Mary. Then the doors suddenly opened. The person who came was Mary, dressed in a gorgeous dress. Mary slowly walked down the stairs. The people downstairs unconsciously moved out of the way, and the prince also smiled and greeted. Then he put his arm around Mary's waist. The two began to dance under the eyes of the crowd. The prince took Mary to his secret garden. Then he pushed Mary and started swinging. At that time, Mary's crystal shoes unfortunately fell on the ground. The prince carefully picked it up. Then he thoughtfully put them on for Mary. Before Mary could thank him. The clock struck midnight. Mary hurriedly pulled up her dress and ran out. The prince, who did not know why, followed her, and found that Mary had already disappeared. Only a crystal shoe was left, because the magic was about to expire. She did not want the prince to know her true identity, so she took the carriage and left the place. At that moment, the attendant behind her suddenly grew a tail. The driver also grew a goose's paw. The mouth also became the shape of a goose's beak. Even the horses grew big ears. The golden car turned into a pumpkin car. At this point, the magic had completely failed. The attendants behind him turned into lizards. The white dragon dragon horse also turned into a small mouse, and the groom also became a big goose. With the last two horses turning into rats, the carriage was completely out of control. It crashed directly into the boulder in front.
Good thing there is no danger. Cinderella put the mouse into her crystal shoe. When she got home, she hid her crystal shoes. But the cunning stepmother found out. She smashed Cinderella's crystal shoe and locked her up. On the other hand, in order to find Cinderella, the prince began to go from house to house to let women try on the crystal shoes. In order to be able to wear the crystal shoes women are also desperate. They exerted all their strength. Some even put oil on their feet. But no one can put on. Now there is only the last one left. And here was Cinderella. The stepmother's two daughters were overjoyed. They went over to try them on. But no matter how hard they tried, they still couldn't get it on. Then the soldier asked the stepmother if there were other girls in the house. But the stepmother said no. And the Cinderella upstairs did not know. She just sang her own song. The little mouse on the side could not stand it anymore. He tried to open the window. Let the soldiers hear Cinderella's singing voice. The fattest one saw this and also dropped the food in his hand and joined in. And so the window was opened. The soldier's attention was successfully drawn to the window. The prince hurriedly asked his soldiers to invite the woman down from upstairs. Thus Cinderella, led by the soldiers, came to the prince, put on the crystal shoe that should have belonged to him. In the end, the two people who were in love with each other, finally came together.